Stuttgart the 17th of January 2019 I'm at the stand of Leica this is the CMT trade fair this is the Cosmo 2009 from Leica an unfortunate name for a van as it sounds as though it's a model which was brought out 10 years ago and not in fact for this year this one costs 81 and a half thousand euros a kickoff price is 64,000 meaning that there's 17,000 euros worth of extra stuff inside mind you uh, one of those stuff one of them things will be delivery and uh, so it's hardly an optional extra I didn't use the word uh, optional right coming up inside well it's on the new Sprinter new meaning 2018 now uh, some people say to me how come you put up films so late and uh, you know putting up a 2018 film in 2019 so no doubt those people wouldn't drive a 2018 Sprinter got problems with my um, gimbal it keeps doing things like that right let's have a look around okay so I'm gonna go the very front down here to show you how the bed is I mean it's not unobtrusive but by the standards of some vans it's reasonably unobtrusive and more to the point is, is that I can stand up where I am now and I've got a, ooh, a there must be 192 3 centimeters of clearance under that and uh, I'm all for prevention of people getting their heads hit by low-lying beds beds which incidentally in many cases they might not use if you use it every day well that's too bad but if you don't then you gotta say what do I need it for Let's open this up. Now one of the things I have noticed, a trend in 2019 is big drawers, chunky drawers, um, with plenty of space inside, which seem to replace the tiny little things that we had before. Well that's the top drawer, so you don't really expect it to be too big. Let's go down to the second drawer. You see? Plenty of room in there. One thing though, if Mr. Like is listening, I prefer something down here to stop things dropping out the sides. That incidentally is the voice of experience. There you go, big thing in there. You've got your, your gas things in here as well. There's your control for the bed to move it up and down electronically. I, I would prefer to have that personally um, as a manual. Uh, being a person who thinks it's electronic and gets broken easily. There we go, an extra drawer, nice big thin uh, Fetford uh, fridge. I say nice, I'd rather have a small fridge, but uh, there you go. I mean these ones use less and less gas or electricity uh, depending on what they are, so they're getting more fuel, econ e more fuel economy you get out of them. Oh, now it's Truma. Or well, the Leica has hidden the Truma temperature control thing there. I like to have that though, I like to see what the time is and the temperature outside or the temperature inside. In my van I've got three things saying what the temperature inside is so I can take my pick whichever one I like the best. Though usually they tend to say the same thing. Um, okay, look at that, you've got plenty of space in there for your, um, your shirts and things. I've got a bit more storage on the other side as well. Let's see what this thing is. And down here, we've also got some storage. There won't be much. There you go. Oh, so many storages. It's a, it's a black tank down there. And you can see you've got this is the, the these things here, these pipes, which are made up of cardboard uh, with a silver uh, silver lining. So every pipe has got a silver lining, and that, that carries the heating around. But in my opinion, they're not particularly uh, uh, good. Um, so you've got the pipes coming out, and you've got the, the outlet thing there. So it sort of gives you a demonstration how they work. And if you look at the cutaway model, for example, of a motorhome, you'll see how the uh, 
hot air is actually distributed around it. Sometimes in factories, for example, I went to Deathless factory the first time I ever went to, and it was very clear there how it's done. You can actually possibly see it to a certain extent in the my visit to the Carrado factory. Uh, you can see some vans there with how the, the heating implantation uh, has been set up. Toilet, bathroom, wet room. Now, like is manufactured in Italy, it's called La Dolce Vita. I'll show you the, the slogan which they've got out, out here. Oh, I didn't mention the kitchen, did I? Look at that big deep sink. Very nice. This is standard, of course. There you go. Three burners. But you've got a bit there, or you've got a bit of space here, and you've also got a thing over here, which no doubt uh, doubles as a chopping board. In fact, I think it's meant to be a chopping board. I'd use that as a shelf. I wouldn't use this chopping board as a chopping board. No, it'd get broken uh, after a while. Well, I want to show you how this has been done as well. Look at the the, the, the window here. So you've got the, uh, this thing here, if you like. It's a sort, in a way, a sort of a frame. It's not a frame, but I mean, it's sort of a frame. I'm sure you understand what I mean. And uh, see. Sort of like, although it does take a little bit up, sorry, I can't see that. It takes a bit of space up here. Mm, I think it looks quite effective next to the, the cooking area. All right, okay, so it'll be uh, closed down time before long. So, you want to turn the lights out, you can do it from up there, but I won't do because somebody's still not quite closed down time yet. And somebody may yet wish to come in. Right, so if you like that, I'll now hope that's interesting. And uh, if so, I shall uh, um, publish more if you like things. And if you don't like it, I'll still publish more. So, whichever way, whatever happens, you're a winner or a loser. One of the two. <laughs>